Alright, as you can see, I recently just finished recording that video of Raw and SmackDown review. Now we get into the 2015 WWE Royal Rumble prediction video. Now, I have a feeling this year's Royal Rumble is going to be a lot better than it was last year. Because last year's Rumble sucked. The only match that was good last year's rum in the last year's Rumble was Daniel Bryan and Bray Wyatt. That was a very, very um, entertaining match to watch. That was the only good match on the show from last year because the Royal Rumble last year just sucked. But this year's Rumble is going to be a lot better, I guarantee it. Because we have a lot more interesting people that are in this match and we have a lot more, a lot more better people that are in this match than last year. For example, Daniel Bryan. You all wanted Daniel Bryan last year to enter this number 30. Instead, you got Rey Mysterio, who got booed out of the arena about out of the arena and then went on to a losing streak after losing Bad News Barrett on Raw and now we get into the this year's Rumble a year later now I know I know 2015 recently just started but the the first month hasn't even been passed yet it hasn't even passed by and so many things already happened this month. You know, Ryback, Ziggler, and Rowan all got fired from the Authority after the Authority was rehired. Then they got their jobs back it's after Sting made a Raw debut. That was awesome. Uh, Daniel Bryan returned. And for o over nine months, Daniel Bryan made his return to WWE. And he won both his matches with Kane on SmackDown. That's all I can remember, but a lot of interesting stuff happened. That's most of what I can think of, but... Alright, let me get into the predictions. So... I don't know how this could go in order. I don't know how this, how this order can go. I would say the first match would probably be the, uh, well, first let's get to the kickoff show. You have the New Day versus this newly, tr this new trio of Cesaro, Tyson Kidd, which are our new tag team. And they apparently are friends with Adam Rose. So, they actually face, will, they actually will face the New Day, not in a six-man tag team match, but a six-man tag team elimination match. So that could be very interesting to watch tomorrow night. Uh... Who would I think is going to win? Of course, the New Day. Who else is going to win? I mean, the New Day hasn't won, hasn't lost yet. Um, I say yet because anything could happen, you know? The New Day could take their first loss tomorrow. Who knows? But we will soon find out. So, uh, Paige, Natalia versus the Bella Twins. Paige and Natalia. Uh, well, let's see. Everybody loves Paige. Everybody loves Nikki. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's a tough one. I I go with the Bellas ones. Simply because they are uh, the most dominant Divas tag team in, in uh, WWE history. Because they're like the main uh, bad people on the roster, on the Divas roster. But I would definitely go with the Bellas ones. Not... Hating on Paige or Natalia, but I just feel like the Bellatons should get a win. That's just what I think. The Ascension versus the New Age Outlaws. This match was scheduled this past Monday night on Raw because of the Raw reunion where New Age Outlaws, NWO, and APA all made their return to Raw. Same with Stain. Uh. The Ascension was attacked by the New Age Outlaws first, and that's how we get into this match, which is scheduled for t for tomorrow night. The Ascension versus the New Age Outlaws, you, you know for, you know for damn, you know exactly what's gonna happen. The New Age Outlaws are gonna get, are gonna squash the Ascension. Like I know the Ascension's on its winning streak because they've been facing uh, jobbers or 
or people that don't even wrestle. Just random people off the street. But they will actually, f like JBL said, they need to fight someone who fights back. And the New Age Outlaws fight back. So the New Age Outlaws would squash the Ascension tomorrow night, end their, li end their little winning streak against the Jobbers. And, and now that I think of it, after they face the New Age Outlaws, could this mean they could go into like regular tag team matches with actual tag teams, not like stupid people he got off the street? Who knows? Uh, but definitely the New Age Outlaws are going to squash the Ascension, which is going to be pretty funny. The Royal Rumble match. Now, there's so many guys that I would like to win this match. Daniel Bryan, Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, Dolph Ziggler, uh, Ryback, Cesaro, uh, Randy Orton, if he ever, if he does show up, Randy Orton. Uh, who, who else could do it? Maybe even Luke Harper. Guys like that. I don't know if I said Dean Ambrose. Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, D Dean Ambrose is another pick. Uh, so those are pretty much most of the guys I want to win to this Rumble match. I hope we don't get, like, us now. There's stupid winner like Batista won last year when it was supposed to, was supposed to be Roman Reigns. Hopefully someone better can win this year, like maybe Daniel Bryan. Like, the top three guys I would pick to win this match would probably be Daniel Bryan, Dolph Ziggler, or Dean Ambrose, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah. So now we get into the main event. A triple threat match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Seth Rollins versus John Cena versus Brock Lesnar for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Now, this match was scheduled after the authority was brought back into power. It, we were supposed to see John Cena versus Brock Lesnar probably like the last ma chapter of this rivalry that they would have or something. Um, but no, the authority granted Seth Rollins a wish for uh, the authority granted Rollins a, a present for bringing him back in power. Uh, it was a triple threat match for the WWE world title. Ever since this match was made, Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman have been furious because they thought it was going to be a one-on-one -on -one match with Cena, but now it's a triple threat match. So anything can happen, especially if Mr. Money in the Bank is in the match. Because he could cash in after the match. If he loses after if he loses this match, honestly, it doesn't matter because he's got the briefcase. Seth Rollins could cash in this he he could cash in at the Royal Rumble tomorrow. Anything could happen, really. But Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman have been furious. Brock Lesnar, you saw what Lesnar did this past Monday uh, on Raw. If you didn't, well, let me say it. Uh after Stain made his Raw debut and helped Cena uh, bring back uh, the, the jobs of uh, Eric Rowan and Dolph Ziggler and Ryback, Brock Lesnar came out. He uh, he uh, beat the holy living hell out of Seth Rollins, Kane, and the Big Show. Seth Rollins escaped like a, like the coward he is. And not one, but two F5s to, to Kane and Big Show each. Yeah, Kane and Big Show both got an F5. And Brock Lesnar pretty much tossed Big Show like a rag doll. So that was pretty funny. And I, I don't know what could happen now. Because could Brock Lesnar be a good guy again? Like, could we see this Brock Lesnar face turn coming up? Because when Brock Lesnar came out and took out the authority, or members of the authority, the crowd was going nuts. They were actually cheering for Brock Lesnar. And I don't blame them. They should. Because the you no know, everybody hates the authority. We all do. Somebody's gonna kick their ass. So Brock Lesnar or John Cena could be the one to do it. But this is gonna be a tough one. Let's see. I gotta go with John Cena. Yeah, go go ahead and say, oh, oh of course you pick John Cena because you're his number one fan. Shut up, man. Shut up. Really. 
you know, I don't care if you like John Cena or not, but you you sure as hell have to respect the man. He's a 15-time WWE World Champion. He's a, a former United States Champion. A former Tag Team Champion. He won pretty much most of the titles. You know? The only title he's never won is the Intercontinental Championship. That's the only title. But you have to respect this man. Once he, if he wins this Sunday, he will be a 16-time champion. He will tie his title reign with Ric Flair. That's that's a huge uh, impact. That's a huge record right there. Uh, but I gotta say, this is a tough one, cause. If you pick John Cena or Brock Lesnar to win, Seth Rollins could cash in. I'm gonna have to go with, you know, I'm gonna have to go with like Seth. I have to go with John Cena to win, the title, and that's and they could and then get screwed over by Seth Rollins or Brock Lesnar. It's, I don't know. It's just a very hard decision. Cause I would have made an easier decision if Seth Rollins didn't have the briefcase if he. You know, if he didn't win Money in the Bank. But it's a lot harder to choose. It's a lot harder to decide who's going to win this match. Because every anything can happen. Everything's at stake. If Seth Rollins happens to cash in, he will become the new champion. I'm going to have to go with John Cena. But, he, like I said, he could get screw, screwed over by Seth Rollins at the end of the match. But who knows? Anything could happen. So, you really want to know who I'm rooting for this Sunday? John Cena. Okay? So, those are my Royal Rumble predictions. Hopefully, we get a better Rumble winner. Uh, we could get a new champion. We could have a better... I just want a better Royal Rumble than, than last year because... I, I'm saying it once, I'm saying it again. Last year's Rumble was horrible. Just the worst Royal Rumble ever. But I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be a lot better tomorrow night. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later.